Hello and welcome. You're watching DBMN TV. This is Abigail R. Karmalim bringing to you the Salishi news across the globe. Don Bosco Youth Center in Gazembe, Zambia, has launched a goat rearing project thanks to donor funding from Salishian Missions, the U.S. development arm of the Salishians of Don Bosco. The funding provided 28 young goats and the construction of a small barn to shelter them. Don Bosco Youth Centre has a large parish with 6,000 parishioners with 30 outstations as well as a carpentry school with a boarding house for 20 students. More than 1,000 youth attend programmes at the youth centre each day. The centre is located on a large piece of land with a volleyball court, areas for soccer and basketball, a hall with two offices and three storage rooms and an outdoor stage. With the funding, Salesians were able to construct the pond behind the stage and connect their water source to the structure to supply the goats. They are hiring a local worker to look after the goats. On 29 March, the Executive Secretary of Don Bosco International, DBI, the body that represents the Salesian congregation within the institutions of the European Union, EU, attended an event on the role of religion in the social economic crisis in Lebanon and the Middle East, organised by the European People's Party, EPP, Working Group, Intercultural and Religious Dialogue at the European Parliament. However, after the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine, the already critical condition of the country collapsed into several multiple humanitarian and political crises exacerbated by massive migration flows from Syria. The discussion focused on one hand on the role played by religious groups in supporting people in these crises and absence of state services and on the other hand on how the EU should approach the different stakeholders and civil society actors. The members of the Don Bosco Technical School DBTS Mission Group take turns coming to school as early as 7 o'clock in the morning, once to twice a week, to prepare hot tea and scones for their brother Bosconians. They work around the Parents, Citizens and Teachers Association to Park and pour not only tea but also love and kindness into the cups of at least 50 early birds. Rika Lavilla first came to Papua New Guinea as a volunteer for three years in Don Bosco, Araimiri, Gulf Province, under the Salesian Lay Volunteer Program of the Philippine North Province of the Salesians of Don Bosco. She shares, Being young is not that easy, especially in today's world. We have all been young once, for those who are no longer in this stage. Young people are faced with a myriad of challenges. They are confronted with so many questions which can make life baffling and not that easy to handle. On the other hand, the youth are the future of our families, communities, the country and the world. Hence, we need to empower them to be agents of transformation, not only for tomorrow but more importantly, today. The centenary year 1923-2023 to of the Salesians in Australia is full of meaningful events of gratitude, awareness and launching the charismatic future. The Salesians arrive in Australia, Fremantle, West Australia on Friday 30th March 1923 to work in education with the Indigenous people in the Kimberley region, northwestern area of Australia. The first celebration in the centenary year was the blessing of the monument to benefactors on 24 January 2023 in the Mother House, Sunbury, Melbourne. Then followed the ordination of five Australia Pacific Salesian priests in Melbourne. During March and Autumn Centenary edition of the Salesian Bulletin was published with an overview of the past hundred years of Don Bosco's charism history since the landing of the first missionaries with Bishop Coppo in Kimberley in 1923. About 50 people gathered at the Salesian House in Sant Boyde Loberigat on March 29 to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Salesian Social Education Platform. Educators, volunteers, directors, families and friends of the platform attended the event with the city's mayor, Luisa Moret, and other members of the municipality. The social platform facilities welcomed all present with a photo exhibit featuring projected images and other items from the centre's 25-year history. 
After visiting the exhibit, participants headed to the auditorium where Father John Camps, SDP, Tutular Director of the Station Work in Sant Boy, Laura Fortes, current Director of Social Platforms and the city's mayor spoke. For the Salatians, it is a source of pride to celebrate this anniversary because it fundamentally expresses what is the core of a charism being next to those who need it most, said Father Camps. For her part, the mayor stressed her commitment to improving people's lives through the social platform. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.